Hey everyone, how you doing? You know, it's Friday morning here in Ottawa, Canada. And the whole week they've been freaking us out about this massive storm coming. So I leave for work early because, you know, after all, the roads are going to be terrible. You know, we're going to end up in the ditch. We're all going to like be stranded. So I said to myself, I'll leave a little early. And you know what happened? The roads are great. There's no traffic. And really, there's not a lot of snow on the road. And there's not a lot of snow falling. Maybe later in the day. But for now, it's terrific. So I got a couple hours before I go to work because I have to drive across the city here in Ottawa. So sometimes it can take like an hour to get to work if it's really, really bad, which it's not. So anyways, that's not what the video is about, okay? My name is Terry G, and the name of this channel is an alcohol-free life channel. And what we do here is we learn to live sober one day at a time, okay? If you can take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel and take another second and hit that like button? I'd really appreciate it, okay? And again, thanks a lot for stopping by, and I'd like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas to you and your family, a healthy and safe Christmas. What I'm going to talk about today, what the topic today is, is something that happens to a lot of alcoholics in early sobriety or even long-term sobriety. And what it is, is this nervousness or feeling anxious in social environments. We may hear the phrase often in rooms of recovery, smart recovery, 12-step programs, therapy, whatever it may be, the phrase is called social anxiety and that's basically what it is right is social anxiety feeling anxious and anxiety in social situations and alcoholics get it 10 times as worse as a non-alcoholic but most people do feel a certain level of social anxiety when they enter a room and usually what it is is when they're entering a room over four people did you know that Social anxiety doesn't really start to the crowd is over four people. Anywhere from four to one or zero people sort of thing. Social anxiety doesn't really come into play. We usually don't feel anxious when the crowd is only about four. But four or more, we start feeling anxious and we start feeling anxiety in these situations. And alcoholics, like I said a minute ago, get it in spades. We get it tenfold. We really do. And alcohol, you know, people, let me just take a sip of my coffee here. Alcohol is called the social lubricant. And it's not, you know, that phrase got coined years ago. And it's not by chance that it got called that, the social lubricant. And alcoholics, I know for myself, when I go to a party, a wedding, a church event, whatever it may have been in the past, an office party or a meeting or whatever it may have been, like I said, I usually took a couple shots of liquor or had a beer just to calm the nerves, just to take the edge off this anxious feeling that I had. Or when I went to a party, I was able to run up to the bar and you know take a few drinks just to calm me down for I don't feel so anxious and I don't feel so out of control in these social events. And I used to have it really bad, but thanks to the alcohol, it calmed me down really quick. It really did. So when it came to social events, when I sobered up, it was a big deal. Believe me, when I walked into places, I felt everybody was looking at me. I felt anxious. I felt nervous. Me, I usually felt it in the bowel, so I had to go to the washroom. I wouldn't talk to people. I just stiffened up. Sometimes I even would sweat when I walked into these environments. And that was a Christmas party, a wedding, a st whatever it was. And if booze was there or there was no booze, it didn't matter. I just felt really anxious at these situations, in these situations. And it was so bad sometimes I didn't really want to go either. I didn't really want to go. I had a bad case of social anxiety. And some of us get it really bad that we have to take medication. But I don't have it that bad anymore. And what I want to talk about is how did I deal with it? How do I deal with social 
anxiety or feeling nervous in crowds. And it doesn't matter if it's with my family and their husbands and boyfriends and, and nieces and nephews. It doesn't matter. It's a little less, but I still feel it, especially when I enter. But when I go to these events that are large, like my Christmas party that I just passed, 350 people there, man, oh man, I get a bad case of it. And I do not have that luxury of taking a drink to take the edge off because that's what most people do. They have a couple of drinks and it takes the edge off of that anxiety or feeling nervous in large crowds. I don't know, I'm having dry throat problems today. Must be the big storm, the nervousness of the big storm. <laughs> but anyways, how do I deal with it? Well, first of all, I just wanna say to everybody who feels social anxiety, it is a real thing. It's real. What you're feeling is real. Okay, it's not in your mind, you're not making it up, or you know, people tell you, oh, that's not the way, you know, that's not the way you feel, you know. Just discard that. It's a real thing. I get it, and I've been in recovery for decades. It's a real thing. But most of it on a daily level, and not I'm not talking from a psychiatrist level or a psychologist level, I'm just talking about a regular guy, a regular alcoholic level. A lot of it is generated from us a lot of it is generated from us we think that people may be looking at us i don't know if you feel like that but i feel like that people may be looking at us judging us i don't know how to act i don't know how to talk in these situations you know i might screw up in these situations all this negative information flows in and most of it is us thinking about ourselves in this situation. Alcoholics are self-centered to the extreme. We think every eye maybe is on us and they're looking at us and we're gonna mix up, we're gonna screw up if we say something. Whatever it may be, your thoughts are your own. But for me, it's mainly that I'm gonna not gonna measure up to the other people, if that makes any sense. Maybe it's a self-esteem issue, but the majority of it is, is that I'm thinking about myself way, way too much in these events. And I don't have the alcohol. So what do I do? What do I do? First of all, what I do is I understand that I feel it. I do not deny myself the fact that I feel like that. I feel anxious. I might start talking to my sweetheart, start interacting with my sweetheart, telling her I feel a little uptight, a little nervous. That helps a lot. And I do, and I do, do really do that. But one thing I really do that helps me with social anxiety, I start interacting with my environment. I'm not saying you have to be the clown of the party or tell jokes or anything like that. No, what I start doing is I start maybe see a few friends at the party, people I feel comfortable with, I start walking up to them and talking to them about their daily lives. I start interacting with my environment. And that is really key. I take an action. I just don't stand there like a wallflower thinking that it's gonna go away. I start interacting with my environment, talking to people, uh, how's your day, how's the party, what do you think? That sort of thing, if there's food, I'll start having something to eat, start having a few little bites of carrot stick or sandwiches or whatever it may be. Start interacting with it, commenting, commenting on the party, those sort of things, Ask, telling people what I've been up to, interacting with the environment instead of thinking about me all the time. If there's a bar there or there's somewhere there's some drinks, I'll go up and grab, grab a glass of water. I suggest you don't drink anything with caffeine in it because it it heightens it it exaggerates the anxiety caffeine we all know that right in sugar products so maybe just have a glass of water at the start drinking can take your mind off yourself like drinking water can take your mind off yourself but that's the way i do it i interact with people people say to me oh terry you're very outgoing at social events well a lot of time is that i feel a little nervous so what i do is i go up and shake people's hands and introduce myself to people and just start talking to them about their job or how their Christmas shopping is going. Whatever it is, I start doing that. And when that happens, 
I start feeling less anxious. I start feeling a part of instead of feeling not a part of. I start getting involved. And sometimes the social anxiety is so great I have to leave. And that was an early recovery. And I'm not saying torture yourself. But go and try it. We don't have the luxury of drinking. We don't. We don't have the luxury of taking the edge off that anxiety or feeling anxious about ourselves. We need to learn new ways of doing it. But most of those, so, the most of that social anxiety is generated from self-centeredness that we're thinking a lot about ourselves. Start interacting with your environment. Start interacting. We are not the life of the party or the center of that party or that event that we're going to. We are just a guest there who's been invited or whatever it is, whatever the situation is, we're just a part of that situation, part of that event. And we need to enjoy that event for what it is because being an alcoholic, we need to practice in all areas of our lives, not just the easy parts. We need to work on other parts. And before you know it, you're gonna be very comfortable in large crowds. Before you know it, you'll be okay in those events. You really will. You'll feel a lot better. But I just want to, the thing I want to tell you about before I end the video is that these things of social anxiety are very, very real. And if we deny ourselves the facts of that we feel anxious, it's not good. We push it down and it just exaggerates the issue. So don't do that. Acknowledge it. Tell somebody beside you. Go to the event with a partner, with your wife, boyfriend, or friends, and tell them that you feel anxious. And that's a great diffuser of social anxiety. It really, really is. That's how I do it, folks. I do it by interacting with my environment, basically. That's how I do it. We all have it. We all think about ourselves way too much in life in general. But this social anxiety business is a real thing and it can cause us a great deal of harm and it can prevent us from growing as individuals in recovery. It can prevent us big time. It really can, okay? Okay, I just want to thank you very much for stopping by and watching my video. My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. In about a week and a bit, it's going to be Christmas and we're going to enjoy Christmas, aren't we all? We're going to enjoy it alcohol-free, aren't we? We're not going to drink and be all nervous, right? So get out there and enjoy your sobriety. Enjoy it. Every day is Christmas in recovery because being sober is a gift. It's a gift that a lot of people do not have the luxury to receive. They really, really don't, okay? So thanks a lot for stopping by. Merry Christmas. God bless you. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. Leave a comment if you want. Merry Christmas to all of you. God bless. Stay safe. Stay sober. And remember, together we're strong when it comes to recovery. Together we can do it together because it's much easier, okay? God bless. I'm Terry G. I'm checking out. I got to get on the road to get to work and talk to people and do all that crazy stuff today. Sober. Enjoy my life one day at a time, okay? We'll see you later. And what else do I got to say? Nothing. Else.